An update was recently released giving us some more information on the current status of the flighting process for Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary and when double XP will end for Halo 5 and the MCC. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button so it lets me know you want to see some more content like this as it greatly helps out the video and channel more than you could ever know. So let's get right into the content here. So the last time we heard any kind of update about what the current status is right now of the flighting process for Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary was back on March 29th when Postums tweeted out just saying, hey, it's out the ring one now, back on, the, on that Sunday. We haven't really heard much since, but luckily Snickerdoodle, aka Sam, part of 343, went on Friday to give us a little bit of an update when it comes to the current status of the flighting process for these games. Now, it seems like since Sunday, there's been a bit of a back and forth when it comes to delivering a proper build for the ring one and two of the test and getting feedback and 343 going back and working on that process. Sam goes on and says this, Progress is still being made each day on our Ring 1 and 2 partners, and our Ring 1 and 2 partners have been helping us identify several critical issues. We just provided an update build to them yesterday being April 2nd with some improvements, and we're prioritizing a handful of issues that we need to resolve ahead for Halo 2 public flights. We will be hammering away at these various Ring 3 blocking bugs and let y'all know when we are confident public fighting is ready to go. So as you can see that we're currently just going in a bit of a loop right now, going through Ring 1 and 2, coming back to 343, Ring 1, 2, coming back kind of thing. Uh, I'm still having high hopes that this Friday, by at least this time of April 10th, we'll get a chance to have some public experience when it comes to playing this game. As when it came to CE, it, when they, it was announced that it was going to ring one and two for flighting, it only took a week until it went to the ring three public Halo Insider program. And so I'm kind of hoping the same thing. Obviously it's been a little bit longer than a week, looking to be probably about a week and a half, two weeks until we get a chance to play on this. But I'm definitely by April 17th, we'll get a chance to play this uh, flight guys. And I will definitely be making content on this channel showcasing to all the people who weren't able to jump in and play which is going to be a lot of people obviously uh we'll be making plenty of content for you guys when it comes to this flight if you do not remember the content that's going to be in this flight it's going to be one of the most jam-packed content flights we've ever experienced we'll be testing out some new features coming to the mcc such as the challenge system if you guys don't know what that is i talked about it in a previous video but short and sweet of it is basically we'll have weekly challenges for multiplayer and campaign experiences that will keep you coming back give you more xp some seasonal points and unique rewards to give you more reasons to like hop in and grind out the game as well as seasonal challenges the example that you show right here gives you an example of saying beat a certain mission in halo 2 anniversary on legendary things like that that can help give people more reasons to jump in and play the campaign i'm excited about this for sure i definitely will break this down in detail in a video once it finally does get released uh, we do have some customization coming to this this flight as well which is going to be fantastic it does seem to be a little bit different than we've known in the mcc actually this first picture we'll show you here is of halo 2's appearance as you can see you had your primary and secondary colors much like you did back in the classic days but you can see on the upper left we have body types we have two spartans and one type of an elite which makes me think we might be able to choose if you want a male or female spartan model for your character which back in the halo 2 classic days you only had the uh male spartans to choose from so that's going to be pretty interesting to choose from guys i'll definitely will like again we'll be making videos on the customization bringing this all down you can show for halo 2 anniversary you actually have armor pieces body types and colors now if you guys remember mcc for halo 2 anniversary does have pre-made armor types i believe there's like three or four pre-made halo 2 anniversary armor types unique to Halo 2 Anniversary. Now, we don't know if you're gonna be able to maybe break those up and kind of combine them how you would like, say like maybe possibly Reach style. I don't know. Like again, like we'll be talking about this when the flight does come out for everyone to get a chance to play. And also we'll be having theater mode as an option for Halo 2 Anniversary on mouse and keyboard. If you checked out my previous video, talking about Forge and theater and why it's been delayed and why it's taking so long for it to come out, though it does seem like it's coming around and we'll be coming around, but for us 
Halo players rather soon that hopefully we get a chance to experience what theater mode is like on mouse and keyboard. Again, making content for you guys on that one. Uh, we'll also be playing six different campaign missions for Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary. Uh, little, the missions will be Cairo Station, Metropolis, The Oracle, Delta Halo, Quarantine Zone, and Gravemind. I'm excited about that because Delta Halo is one of my all-time favorite missions ever in Halo, so I'm excited to play that on PC for sure. We'll also have multiplayer as an option, guys. We'll have social 2v2, 4v4, and 8v8 when it comes to Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary. For competitive ranked, we'll only have Halo 2 Classic Hardcore, no Halo 2 Anniversary. I have reached out to post a couple times, trying to get some feedback. We will see H2A ranked on the release. No word yet. I'm assuming you're probably keeping tight lipped on it just because they may want to have it in if it's enough community feedback. If not, we'll see. If you guys remember about a year ago, H2A was cut for ranked modes to try to consolidate things because the population was so low. Uh, for Halo 2 Classic Multiplayer, we'll see the maps of Lockout, Midship, Beaver Creek, Burial Mounds, Coagulation, Headlong, Waterworks, Containment, Sanctuary, and Turf. And for Halo 2 Anniversary, we'll have Lockdown, Zenith, Stonetown, Bloodline, and Shrine. As well as various settings for control video, audio, gameplay, networking, and accessibility. Again, we'll go all over that once the flight does get released to us all. Now, at the top of this video, I also did mention about the double XP that's currently going on for MCZ in Halo 5 is ending this month. It's going to be ending on April 29th, according to the community manager, John Unishek, posted up a little tweet here just letting us know about his community updates that rather than making a whole post about it he went up on twitter and one of the things he mentioned was that double xp continues through april 29th now that's double xp on halo 5 and on mcc so if you're 152 grinders keep on grinding this last month to get a chance to do that and for your mcc tier system grinders keep on grinding you gotta keep going through that way as well because i do assume that we will be seeing a new season pass model progression system when uh halo 2 anniversary halo and halo 2 comes to the mcc what we will see in it i don't know again like i said i'll be making content on it letting you guys know about it as soon as it does become available on this channel so let me know in the comment section down below what's the thing you guys are most looking forward to when it comes to halo 2 flighting are you looking for the campaign the theater mode awesomeness some maybe testing out some of the new features like challenges and stuff like that or seeing what's in the new progression system or just finally get a chance to play these awesome games on PC. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you enjoyed this video and found it informational, please make sure to tap that like button as it really does help out the video and channel a lot, guys. More than you can actually know. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to tap subscribe to keep yourself updated with all the content and all the news happening in the Halo community. If you miss any videos from me, check out the videos on the screen now. I have a playlist that will keep you up to date with all the MCC news that's been going on the last few weeks and days. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.